Another truck. It seems he got lost trying to find his way home. That's Eric's bag. He must have been headed in this direction. I'll let your Linda know. Keep following his trail. Gerlinde just called me. They found him. A neighbor in the area saw him up ahead after hearing where he was headed. If you hadn't found his trail, he might have wandered further into the woods and gotten into some real trouble. Thank you so much for helping out. Have you run across Albertina yet? No? Albertina Fleischer. She's one of the locals. She's a real Red Deer admirer. We've got a lot of those here, as you can tell. One of her friends is a taxidermist, and apparently he promised to stuff an animal for her birthday as a gift, as long as she provided the materials. You see where this is headed, right? Yeah, she loves red deer so much that she would like one harvested and stuffed to display in her living room. But she'll pay well, so are you up for it? As she will no doubt tell you if you ever meet, her love for Red Deer comes from an episode in her youth when she got lost in the woods. Apparently, she was able to find her way home by following one that appeared in front of her. Hi there. So, Dr. Bandari ran some tests on the blood sample you took, and I'm afraid it's bad news. It showed signs of brucellosis, a disease that can cause miscarriages among the bison. Zomel wasn't too thrilled about introducing bison to the reserve in the first place, and if this were to spread to any of the other animal populations, he might pull the plug on the entire project. Bandari identified a few more bison that were afflicted. He's asking for your help with containing the disease by downing the sick ones. <laughs> 